With a focus on ease of use and driving accurate results, the Creo Simulate 3.0 solver has been enhanced to assist users in determining which type of analysis to run for the given model. On the screen is a snap hook component. As you can see, I've constrained the part based on the four holes in the component, as well as applied force load depicting a downward force of 100 newtons. In addition, I've also defined a material and assigned it to the component. It is this material and its defined properties that the solver will use to determine if the analysis that I choose is accurate for this given component. Before we begin, let's take a look at the material assigned and right mouse button on the material assignment one. In this case, I see that the material in question is a thermoplastic material. As you can see from the details for this material, I have a failure criterion set as distortion energy. Setting this failure criterion I need to enter in the defined tensile yield stress for this particular material. It is this information that the solver will use to determine if the stress results in the material exceed the yield stress for the material assigned. To start with, let's run a static analysis with small deformation. I'm going to click on Analysis and Studies. Let's go create a new static analysis. In this case, let's give it a given name of static underscore SD for small deformation. And we'll run it as a single pass adaptive. Let's go ahead and run the analysis. Once the analysis is complete, the diagnostic window will appear. Let's review some of the warning messages contained within it. The first one that comes up is a warning that states the strains are large during the analysis, which may lead to inaccurate results. You should consider using the Calculate Large Deformation option. This is the enhancement to aid the user in determining if they've chosen the correct analysis. In this case, I haven't based upon the conditions of my model such as the constraints, the load, as well as the material assigned. Looking at the next warning message, it tells me that the yield condition has been exceeded for the material listed below. You should consider using an elastoplastic material if applicable. Again, this is a second part of the enhancement that helps me determine if I've chosen the correct material based on the analysis that I'm trying to perform. Let's go ahead and update both these scenarios so that we can satisfy the warning messages that were presented. The first thing that I want to do is right mouse button on the material assign one and select on material and click more. Now what I want to choose is an elastoplastic material, in this case steel. Let's move it over to the right under the materials in model and select it. At this point click on OK. Now we see that the defined material assigned is steel. The next part is I want to rerun an analysis and study. In this case I want to create a new static analysis and I want to select calculate with large deformation and use plasticity and we'll run this again at a single pass adaptive. Let's go ahead and run this analysis again. Now that the second analysis is complete we no longer see the two warning messages that we saw earlier running the static analysis with small deformation. This gives us confidence that this analysis with the defined elastoplastic material has not exceeded the yield conditions based on the failure criteria. In addition, with the calculations of large deformation set, we know that the material has not exceeded the yield stress for the material assigned. At this point, we have confidence that the results that will be displayed will be accurate. Whether you're a designer, engineer, or analyst, Creo Simulate's easy-to-use interface and robust solver will help guide users to attain high-quality results that they can have confidence in.